Hello, my name is Steve McGarry. This video is the second in a series on law firm networks. It covers what is a law firm network, the structural advantages of global law firm networks, and the criteria for evaluation of networks. A free copy of this chapter is available at the link above. What is a law firm network? A law firm network is an association of law firms that maintain independent operations and finances. What are the structural advantages and limitations of law firm networks? As a result of their independence, there are no conflicts of interest or exposure to vicarious liability. The members gain access to a vast amount of resources at virtually no cost. The principal limitation is that the command and control governance model of a law firm is replaced by a consensus governance model since the member firms are independent. Why global? We live in a global world. We have a global economy, global resources for global procurement, and global marketing. Networks address each of these. Why a network rather than a standalone integrated firm? For larger law firms, it is not about being local, regional, or global. It is about all three. These are two charts from Cyrus Freedheim's The Trillion Dollar Enterprise. They demonstrate the local and global advantages that networks have over standalone firms. The best way to be global and the best way to be local is through network membership. This global and local focus is already reflected in the current legal market by the size of networks, the number of countries, there are many thousands of offices, in the depth of the relationships that go back more than 20 years. No standalone law firm compares. What are the criteria for evaluation of networks? Networks vary from giant organizations such as PwC and Deloitte to informal groups commonly referred to as best friends networks. The three ways to evaluate networks are levels one through four, measures the complexity and sophistication of a network, Two aspects are structure and governance. Network dynamics measures how networks' objectives are being met. The most fundamental is the relationship among members. Internalities and externalities measures how members and non-members perceive the network. They define the strategies and priorities of the network. What's next? Future videos and chapters will cover network operations and functions, network governance, marketing, technology, and the future of the legal profession. I would like to thank you for watching this video.